Hi, I'm Amy Knack with Wingtip Press, and we're here today to learn about a lesson plan that I did with high school students. The teacher was the head of the newspaper and the class yearbook, and she wanted her students to learn a little bit about the hand process of printmaking. So we're going to start by making a print, and then that, those students took those prints into Photoshop and redesigned them for the yearbook, for their newspaper, and for some posters. I've got two 5 by 7 gel plates side by side here, and I'm going to roll up one of them with a little bit of the magenta ink and the pyrrole orange. And you don't need very much ink at all with the Kua. It's, the colors are really strong and bright, and a little goes a long way. The ink dries by absorption, not evaporation. So um, it, will, it will stay live on your plate for a long time, and allowing you to work or rework an image so you don't have to worry about it drying out. I'm going to beef up the color a little bit here, and we're making a blend. And I'm going to show you today how you can just use some natural objects, just things that you find around the home, to make some wonderful marks. Printmakers are mark makers, and I've just found a few little jars and a couple of seashells. What I'm going to do is take the shell and make a mark here, and the ink that remains on the artifact that we're using, I'm going to displace it onto this plate here, so you can see how you can make a mark in one place and then put that mark back down in another place. This is a little sea urchin. It makes a gorgeous little mark. I'll put another one here. These are just little bottles. This was a bottle of olive oil, but the bottom of jars really make some gorgeous marks. And I'm going to just put this one back over there. And then this really nice square shape. So let's pull that print. So what we're going to have here is a negative positive print. So now we're just going to use the Baron to help transfer the print to the paper. And there's my first print. We can probably get a really lovely ghost on this, so let's try that. Very soft, but maybe it could be added to. And let's just take the, a pull from this one for where we've just discharged the ink from the seashell and the bottle. So you can see we have the negative and the positive print, and then here's the detailed print. Now the students took these images into Photoshop and created some posters about a coastal cleanup day. And so you can see how high touch with the printmaking, take, taking the print into Photoshop and doing manipulating it in Photoshop and adding text, translates from printmaking to working on the computer. High touch meets high tech. <laughs>